Hey YouTube, how we doing? Well, about time for another book to come to the channel. And this one I had to get. Honestly, it's a great book. It's a really, really moving book. And it became a TV series on Nat Geo, I think. But stay tuned right after we roll that intro. You can already see the title. We're going to get into it. All right, guys, thank you for staying past that intro. I know book reviews can be a little weird, little, you know, whatever to take a look at. This one is The Long Road Home, and they call it The Story of War and Family. Okay, I can kind of agree with that because this book touches on all elements of a unit that basically got ambushed and they had to fight their way out. It deals with higher command. It deals with the lowliest privates. It even deals with what the family, you know, went through back home. You know, it deals with, um, as it says right there, an element of the 1st Cav Division came under surprise attack in Seder City on Sunday, April 4th. This details that whole day. All right. It's an interesting read for someone like me. Um, I know the feelings and... You know, everything else. Okay, there it goes. Charlie Company, second to the fifth calf. All right. It's, if you go through all the appendices and everything else, it's a long read for some people at basically 338 pages. It's got a manufactured suggested price of basically 16 bucks, but I got this at Walmart and I know I paid less for it. <laughs> now, I do like that they have pictures, you know, from that day, or I should say, of that area that happened on that day. You know, it, it goes through so much in this book. And they really don't pull any punches to try to sanitize, you know. Oh, God, everyone was so happy and everyone hung together and everyone believed in this. No, it, it deals with everything they felt. It dealt with, you know, families at home that they heard that there was a big, huge attack. And they didn't know who died because, well, they couldn't really get the area under control, get people home to be able to do the casualty collection and figure it out who got, you know, Kilo India Alpha killed in action. I got to recommend it to you because it's not like a political book. Uh, um, it's, as you can tell by my tone of voice, you know, usually I'm a little bit more upbeat and doing reviews and whatnot. It's a really, really good read. I highly, highly recommend it. And if you don't want to read the book, find Nat Geo, and I'm sure you can find that on on demand on your cable packages. Give it a watch. But, you know, if that's my two cents. I seriously give it a five-star recommendation. Um, but, you know, it's all I can kind of say. Go read it. It's, it's about a long, long day in an infantry company's life. But, you know, I want to know, I don't know, your thoughts about possibly looking at it or if you've read it or, you know, if you had family that was there, leave them down below in the comment section. I really want to hear them, okay? If you're a first-time viewer of my channel, I want to thank you for finding this one, and it's a strange one to start with, trust me. Um, you're going to find a little symbol popping up right down here. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, please click on that, and that's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you've clicked on subscribe, please click on that bell icon that's going to pop up right next to it, okay? That is going to inform you every single time we upload a brand new video. And speaking of videos, two are going to pop up over here. These are going to be ones that YouTube is going to think is a good viewing experience for you from my catalog of videos. So go ahead and check them out. And guys, sorry, I, I honestly don't know what to say other than it's a bad day in a lot of people's lives, and this is a great read on the courage, the professionalism, and the patriotism of my brothers who are still serving overseas. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an incredible day.